You felt it your entire life. That there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there. Like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you want to know what it is? Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. And a very warm welcome if you've just joined me on my channel, not just on things. Hey, Dana, hey, keeping I hope everybody's safe and safe where you are. Crazy bit of footage, definitely 100%. Let's pull it apart, but before I do, let's first talk about this red object that's in the west of our skies. As the sun starts to set, we get to see it more and more, and it's uh, on camera every single day now. You just need to look. Links in the description box down below for everything you're going to find, no matter who I'm talking about or what I'm talking about. We've got uh, these three white objects that seem to follow down with the sun. We've got this object here, we've got this object here. We've got this object here, and we've got this object here. And these four objects are all connected. These are not lens flares, these are projections, because they're trying to hide the incoming objects. They're using sky disks, and because they're using more than one sky disk, it turns it into a great big telescope, and because the camera is receptive enough, it just happens to all go in line, and we get to see the end result, hence what we're looking at here. This isn't a projection of our sun or a lens flare of our sun in any way, shape or form, but you take it as whatever you want to. But yeah, definitely a little bit strange and there is a lot going on in this video. Right, I've taken the brightness down, taken the contrast up and uh, enhanced the picture just that little bit more. And as you can see, there's lots and lots of white specks on the camera and I believe that's still on the uh, actual lens itself. But we've still got this red object here, this object here, this object here and I believe these objections from our sun simulator and lensing system and like I say they're trying to hide it and because they're using more than one lens they made a telescope schoolboy error refraction of light possibly or was it done on purpose that is the question you've got to ask yourself and this yeah does this look like our sun I don't believe it does let's have a look at some more other little bits and pieces that I found and we're looking at the sun simulator there, we're looking at this big red object here and I reckon this here is a lens flare. But there's so much going on in the cameras now, it's really hard to tell which it is or what. So we've got the red object here, let's just take a closer look as you see, we've got uh, the red all the way around the outside of the sun and the two look very very similar. That's a zoomed in version of that object there. It looks like, um, well, you make your own minds up. Who am I to say? It's doing a very good impression of a planet, a reflection of a planet, but, and a red one at that, by the way. What I'm gonna do is stop this here, just before we get started. We've got this object that moves through the sky and it seems to have texture whatever you like and on the nine o'clock position and at the seven o'clock position we get to see things flying about and there's this red beam of light down here and this is the way they try and obfuscate it like I say you make your own minds up I'm going to stop it just there you can see that one there there was one there there's going to be another one up here and like I say there's going to be one there is that actually part of the projection or is this actually on the camera and they're flying rods or whatever they might be So you've got to ask yourself, what are we looking at? Projected images. Jeff P has actually told you, shown you, I've actually shown you, I've told you. Links in the description box down below for everybody, like I say. You make your own minds up. Let's have a look at the next bit of footage. Chalky list west, 265 degrees. Sorry if I haven't pronounced that properly. Let's have a look at this bit of footage and pull it apart. And as you can see, the sky is starting to get red 
and then all of a sudden we get this object and this appears just for two frames well each picture is 10 minutes so basically two frames and it disappears so we know that this is a projected image it's not lens flare it is projected image if it was a lens flare the sun would be in sight and it's not it's up here and there you can see that's just disappeared in 30 minutes this red object that we've been looking at just here yeah I believe it's the same object that is being reflected on the last bit of footage that we just looked at if you look here that looks like there's a massive big red well yeah you make your own minds up it's there you can see it and you get to see yeah <clears throat> it is what it is you can see the sun simulator coming over and I've got to stop it there in fact I am just going to go back just one click right what I want to do is stop it here because I think this is very very important we've got this object here we've got the sun simulator there and we've got this red object that's behind the sun simulator is it in front of the sun not right it's too sure but we can see that the refraction reflection whatever it might be it is not a lens flare and you can see there's an interaction between the sun and this object here is it a planet and as you see we get to see another one just here up here and click through you can just see it at the bottom and we get a reflection of this sky object here and you can see there's a red hue round the sun and of course that's totally totally normal one two three and we've got this object here we've got our lens flare here and this is definitely a lens flare refraction from the sun simulator and yeah it's starting to uh well you make your own minds up it shouldn't be like that let me stop it here this is really a damning photograph this i don't believe to be a sky disc but you might make your own minds up we got this yeah to me everything looks wrong if you look at this this is our friends all lens and you can see it it sticks out like a sore thumb we still got our red lens flare here but we still got this projected image here And if I stop it there and zoom in, what can I say? It certainly shouldn't be on camera. So what we've got to remember, this object actually moves with the sun and is being obfuscated by sky disks and mirrors and smoke, hence the chemtrails. If you look at this picture, this is from Roof Glacier South and the pictures are every 10 minutes. You can notice in the sky it's got this red hue to it. It might not uh, translate onto video too well, but yeah, it's got a red hue to it with a touch of purple. And as we click through the pictures, like I say, each picture is 10 minutes long, we get to see something quite strange. And as the sun goes through the sky, well, the sun simulator and the sun, they're both together, one's in front of the other. I've said this before and so is Jeff P you've got this red hue that stands out a little bit more and something just stands out there but in the next picture we get to see something a little bit stranger we've got the red hue here and we've got this object here and let's put it into a program and let's have a look we decrease the brightness and increase the contrast red hue here and we've got this object here let's click and invert it what's so black is white white is black yeah it just becomes a little bit more defined and as you can see does it look right well that's down to you but then i click to the next picture and we get this object here this reminds me of the upside down planet and i've shown this many times and i'll show you a picture right now but then you've got the red hue around the outside let's play with brightness and contrast and we get this it stands out a little bit more and I think you can totally agree after looking at that picture it does look like the upside down planet but the right way round so are we actually looking at the real McCoy and we've got this red object that is going with the Sun and Sun simulator like I say it's for you to make your minds up inverted picture it stands out just that little bit more and as in 20 minutes it seems to just 
disappear with the sun into the background. Right, Fort Yukon East. Well, now we're going to have a look at this picture. Everything looks normal apart from the chemtrails in the background. We've got a lens flare here and we've got this white object that follows the sun. Let's click to the next picture. This is where it starts getting a little bit strange. This red object that I've been talking about and you've seen it's there in photographs and it shouldn't be there on camera. We get to actually start to see just here and it becomes like a crescent like it's being obfuscated by something and it stands out just that little bit more there now is that a sky disc that we're looking at possibly and it's been the red is being reflected off the sky disc that is very very possible but yet again it's red and just there you can see it's being eclipsed and then the cone trails come in it's for you to make your own mind up, it's for you to decide. I'm just showing you it shouldn't be on camera. Right, I've just got one final clip for you. I'm going to show it to you. I'm not going to speak about it. It's for you to decide. It speaks for itself. That's all I've got for now. Much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time.